whenever I see the odds makers make a mistake, I do like to take a chunk out of them. Of course, I guess you'll be taking a chunk out of this website, but same difference. Now, I can't put this link in the description or anything like that because I'll get flagged on YouTube, but there it is. You can look up in the address bar, see where this is at. It's legal in many, I mean, most states have some kind of app right now that's legal, so I don't know if you can get this exact bit, but uh, not a real big deal these days. I made this same video last year, and what it is is the Iowa Hawkeyes over seven and a half wins. Now, last year I waited too long to make this video, and this actually went up to eight, and if I recall, up at eight and a half. I'm not sure when I made a video. Last year when I made this video, I talked about their quarterback that transferred in that has basically come there to – he wants to win a national championship. He was the quarterback from Michigan. He was taking them on the verge of a national championship, and he got benched for another guy. He transferred to Iowa, and he's there to win a national championship. And last year I said this is going to change everything. And immediately after I made that video, talking about betting – I think it was eight games when I made the video, but uh, – Immediately after I made the video, I looked on the internet and he would got hurt in practice before the season ever started. <laughs> and he was limping around for first four or five games. And then he got, got hurt bad and they put in, he, he sat out for the rest of the season. And so did another star, the other star player, uh, tight end I was talking about last year. He's not on the team now. They both, in the, uh, he went to the NFL. Uh, he got hurt early in the season as well. And one of their star defensive linemen I didn't know about when I made this video last year. He he bet on the Iowa Hawkeyes women basketball. Caitlin Clark, he put some money on a site like this, and they found out about it, and he got suspended for the entire year. And that's just to start the year. And the whole the whole year, is just the team was just plagued with injuries. And uh, they still won 10 10 games. This is regular season, the Big Ten schedule. They still won 10 games last year, and that was with one of the worst offenses in modern football, literally modern college football. The last two years, Iowa has had historically bad offense. And last year, they actually won 11 games. They should have won 11 games. There was one punt return that got called back in a game where it was a real controversial call, and uh, they actually probably could have won 11, but it doesn't matter. We're just talking about this number here. This is what I'm talking about. They made a mistake. This is this number is wrong. When they make a mistake and it's in my wheelhouse, what I mean by that is my wheelhouse is things I know and things I follow, and this this is a big mistake. That's That, that number is way wrong. They'll probably win 10 games this year, but uh, they, they might run the table. Um, so anyways... What I'm going to do here is I just want to show you this. Now, the, the odds aren't there, real great, 165. So I just want to show you the odds here. $10 bet wins $6.06. .06. So the odds aren't great. So when this moves up to eight, when this when this moves up to eight, instead of seven and a half, the odds will come down a little bit. It'll probably be like 130, 135, 140. And so, you know, you, know, you get like seven or eight bucks for every 10 bucks. So uh, I'm going to bet this. Until the season starts, it's gonna it's a month away, and uh, I'm gonna be putting money on this all the way up to nine games. I doubt it'll go to nine. This is this is bound to go to at least eight, and most likely eight and a half. The real the real number should be nine, and that's that's why this is wrong. And why is this wrong? Because of the schedule they play. Here's well here's the here's there's two things right. Since 2020, Iowa trails only Georgia. And both fewest points allowed and defensive efficiency. They were also top five in numerous statistics in 2023. And, and the year before, they were even better. And this year, there's no fall off. So here's Iowa's schedule this year. These first four games, they'll likely win them all. Now, this Iowa State game is always tough. Always tough. You can throw out, throw out, any, throw out all the stats and throw out everything. This is just an in-state rivalry. They could drop that game. But likely 4-0 through there, going into Ohio State. The good thing about this is they play Ohio State at Ohio State, so that means Iowa's got an extra game at home, in essence. You know, you don't want to play Ohio State at home because, I mean, you do. You do, you do. but I mean, the thing about this is Iowa, Ohio State's probably going to beat them no matter where they play. 
and that's the one game on a schedule. You can say, okay, Iowa loses this one. And it's not at home. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They actually have seven home games and five away games. I just now realized that five away games, one of them's Ohio State. So they've only got four away games this year in Minnesota, Michigan State. They got to go to the West Coast and then Maryland. I just I didn't that that, make, that makes the schedule even a little easier. Um, I shouldn't say easier, favorable. Washington basically lost their offense to the NFL. They're all gone. For I'm not all, but but they lost their quarterback and wide receivers, and it's a totally different team, different coach, I do believe. And uh, so I look down here now. Wisconsin's always trouble for Iowa. That's kind of like playing. Ohio, that's kind of like playing Iowa State. And uh, they do got to go to the West Coast to play UCLA, but UCLA isn't isn't like isn't a juggernaut by any matter. And then they got Maryland and Nebraska, and you know those are all every all these are good teams, but uh, that Iowa's defense is just nasty, and the only offense on here that's going to be able to play above and beyond their defense is Ohio State, and. Uh, that's this this is setting up for another 10 or 11 win season in my opinion barring injury so the big 10 got rid of their uh their divisions so last last video last year i put money on the iowa to win the big 10 west and they easily did that and where where is it at oh there it is so they don't have divisions anymore and I found a bet to uh, – now, you might not find this on other apps and other sites, but I found a bet to take that place of that, and it is right here, Iowa and Kentucky. They, they matched them up most regular season wins. Who will have more wins, Iowa or Kentucky? Now, these odds aren't great here, 190, so a $10 bet. Well, only going to get you 526, but I do believe this is extremely wrong – Matchup. I think they've got this number wrong as well because Kentucky has a nasty schedule in the SEC this year. Now these rankings and parentheses are from last year, but uh, Georgia, Ole Miss, very very good teams, and then they got Florida and Auburn. Those are basically heads up coin flip games for Kentucky. And then they got Tennessee, who's good, and then Texas and Louisville. So that that's a pretty nasty schedule for Kentucky. That's pretty. That's pretty nasty for Kentucky, who went three and five in in the, in the conference last year and seven and six overall last year. So this bet is who wins more games, Iowa or Kentucky, right? And so they've got Kentucky. The line I showed you where they have Iowa is seven and a half wins. They've got Kentucky is six and a half. So they've already got Kentucky slated to lose an extra game, and Iowa likely has one of the. Uh, most favorable schedules in the country considering their defense is, is, is outstanding. And if Iowa's offense can just produce a little bit, they got a new offensive coordinator. And if they can just produce just a little bit, if they can just stay on the field and score a few touchdowns, they could very easily win 11 of these games. Um, Washington has to go from the West coast to uh, play Iowa at home. I do believe that might be a blackout game too. I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. This kid here, he's 24 years old now. He's one of those guys you're like, man, he's been, this is like his 12th year of college football, isn't it? And he's just been around forever. seems like, and their whole offensive line, this feels like I'm trying to sell you on this now, but <laughs> I want to put a little, little uh, knowledge into this for you. The whole offensive line for Iowa is is basically got a ton of experience now and now they're super deep and they can rotate guys just in and out so they'll be fresh they got good running backs they got good tight ends and they got a new coach and that's one of the things that's going to be problems for these first four five six games is no one's going to know what to expect out of their offense now they'll probably just come out this first month and they'll probably just be boring and vanilla and then they'll probably open something up special for ohio state but anyways, the point I'm trying to make is Kentucky's going to have a hard time. You know, I see maybe six or seven wins on the schedule because those are that's a tough schedule, man. And uh, Kentucky's good, but 
it's going to be tough for them, considering Iowa is likely going to win, you know, at least probably nine games, eight or nine games. Can Kentucky win nine or ten games on that on that schedule? I think that's highly unlikely. So I really like this bit. What I'm trying to say they made another mistake here in my wheelhouse. There it is. And uh, so obviously this year is the first year in college football where they actually are going to decide the national championship on the field. There's going to be 12 teams playing in a tournament for the championship. Why they didn't do that 30 years ago, I'm not quite sure. I suppose money and bowls and associations and stuff and agreements. Um, so college football championship, uh, uh, well, I don't, I'm, I don't think Iowa's going to win the championship, but they could. So, like, I'm going to consider I'm going to win both these two bets I showed you here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put a little of the profit I'm going to make, you know, I'm just – I'm going to put 10 in here to see what it looks like. So a $10 bet on Iowa to win a national championship will bring home $4,000, right? So that's why I'm doing that. That's basically a free bet right there because these first two bets are, are you know, you just don't find anything better in, in, call, in, in uh, football wagering. That this that's how good that these these uh, that's how bad these these lines are. Seven and a half is way off. And I think Iowa easily has more wins than Kentucky. And now uh, this is just regular season, 12 game schedule. And uh, so, you know, put a little profit. And, and, you know, I'm a homer, right? So if they did happen to win the national championship, I'd like to have 10 bucks on it to win 4,000, right? <laughs> so it's a homer bet. And then, uh, oh, shoot, I didn't see. Here's one of Iowa's tight ends right here. They actually have him fifth on the. Win an award there. That's that's interesting. Um, twelve team playoff wagering on the twelve teams that get in there. Now this year in the Big Ten, how they're going to decide who goes to the championship is it's going to be the two teams with the best records, and then they've got like a tiebreaker system of some sorts. But the two best, the two teams in the Big Ten with the best Big Ten record will play for the national or. Bleh, play for the Big Ten Championship. So that's likely going to be Ohio State versus someone. And uh, if if there was divisions, I would think this this would be a wonderful bet that Iowa would win the division, particularly with that favorable schedule. But but uh, so basically the rest of the Big Ten is going to beat each other, each other up. Ohio State, Penn State, Wisconsin, um, Michigan. Michigan will have a drop-off this year for sure a little bit, but this will be really good. But, uh, you know, there's a chance that, you know, if Iowa plays for the Big Ten championship, if they have the second best record in the Big Ten, they're probably getting invited to the 12-team playoff, win or lose against Ohio State. So uh, there might be a matchup, a rematch against Ohio State. And and this video got a lot longer than I wanted it to. But there, there's that. That's, that's another one. I'll put uh, – why is it not so – that's another one uh, we want to look at. So I got four bets here, and this is basically another situation where they, you know, maybe they don't make it. I don't want to be too homer, but uh, you know, put a little bit of that profit. These first two, man, I just it just doesn't get any better than this. These are just major mistakes by whoever made these lines. That's that's just how bad these that those are. It's just, this is this is just stupid. A stupid bad, and. Uh, I think I think it's computerized. I think it's an AI computer spitting out these recommendations because I don't think a human being can watch that Iowa defense play in the last two three years and and sit here and say with all the you know if, if they've just been paying attention that there's no way this should be seven and a half that it should probably almost be just nine starting off. But uh, okay, so there it is, ten bucks on the Iowa to make the twelve team playoff. Sixty five brings you sixty five dollars. So, you know, maybe I put 100 on this. Maybe, you know, whatever. Say I put 100 on this, 100 on this, maybe a couple hundred on each one of those, and then, you know, 10, 20 bucks on these next two. You know, maybe I put 20, 25 bucks on Iowa to win the national championship and, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks or something for that. You know, basically, those are basically free bets, and free bets are always cool. And anyways, that's it. I just want to bring you to this. This this is wrong, These this one here. And it's particularly Iowa, Kentucky one. That's you know, the more I think about it, that's that's almost a no brainer. 
but the odds aren't very good. But anyways, all right. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. <laughs>